If y'all wonder what this bunch is over here, this is the NFW wrestling crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Professional wrestling at its finest. It will be at the uh, Metro Sportsplex Center uh, Friday night. So if you want to, come on out and uh, have a good time with us. We want to say we got Benny Bray here tonight. And he'll be going against Canadian kids. So he's over there and he's right there with that pretty girl. So there could be a confrontation. Where's so Benny? Eyes on them. Benny Bray's over here. Eating. Submarine. Oh, there, there, Benny. Yo, you said pretty girl. I was just looking for Benny. <laughs> don't let him call you. Don't let him call you pretty girl, man. Like Does that mean you swing another one? <laughs> no, my, my, my lip ain't, ain't pierced. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, it's just a good thing you pronounce it right, because if T-Bone would have heard you say E, he'd got up and went up and got more I wouldn't have got me more pizza. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, no shortage around here. <laughs> you know, it's like the kids, when they listen to y'all, y'all tell them to get down, they start dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got the key in that? Hold it. Hold it, man. Play this thing, man. Say right. 
Headhunters, it was a band I was involved with, and uh, I got up there and I got to writing some songs. I had a little luck, and this was a song that made it overseas, but it never made it over here. But it's still one of my favorites. It's an E, everything I do is either an E or A. <laughs> but, anyways, right here, and this is a crowd precipitation song. I want you to precipitate with me. You see what I'm saying? Precipitate now. I'm gonna hold, sing hold, it out. Hold, hold, stop right there. You just lost everybody in the room. Well, you said know. precipitate. No, I said precipitate, not precipitate. <laughs> now, see, people like Scott and, uh, and Johnny, you know, Master Rich over here, and, and the old dude that was in the war with uh, George Washington. <laughs> uh, they think you're getting ready to go to the bathroom. Look at Mr. Brad, he's back there, man. He's even <laughs> How many submarines you have, didn't you? <laughs> submarines. <laughs> but anyway, this and this here is a good song. It was really, it was uh, Albert Collins did this live a lot before he passed away. Uh, all kinds of blues guys did this, but never recorded. But I'm gonna sing out a sub word, and you'll figure out what it is. And I want you to sing it back. This is a true story too. Ready, team? She got a great big belly. It shakes like jelly. Real large hips and make a man flip. She's my big fat girlfriend. She's my big fat girlfriend. She's my big fat girlfriend. Crunching and I'm munching all the time. Well, her name's Big Bertha. There's no wonder why. Johnny Richards. She's my big fat girlfriend. She's my big fat girlfriend. She's my big fat girlfriend. I'm crunching and I'm munching all the time. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Time to get her to the grocery store. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Open up her mouth and shovel in more. Yeah, get a tea. He's falling off the seat. Oh, yeah, he's breaking down. Yeah. 
y'all gonna do something to get Scott to call the police and get everyone to be arrested for being overweight? One, two. They'll pick up Scott, man. <laughs> Here we go, man. Hey, Scott built the highway there with, with a secret filling. What are you talking about? I took her to the doctor because she was overweight. The doctor said, woman, well, stop the stuff in your face. She my big fat girlfriend. What is it? Big fat girlfriend. She my big fat girlfriend. One more. Big fat girlfriend. She my big fat girlfriend. Crunching and I'm munching all the time. This is my favorite line. She's shaving in the summer. In the winter, she's heat. Man, my woman, she's a covered in meat. She's my big fat girlfriend. Big fat girlfriend. Oh, my big fat girlfriend. Big fat girlfriend. She's my big fat girlfriend. Crunching and I'm munching all the time. Let's take it on one more. Well, she's my big fat girlfriend. See, my big fat girlfriend. Big fat girlfriend. My obese, overweight girlfriend. Johnny Rich's girlfriend. I mean, T Bone's girlfriend. Don't she gonna beat you up? No, not that one. She's my big bad girlfriend. Wait a minute. My kids, grandkids, make more noise when Spuds Bob's on the corner. If you all don't do it the like I say you do it, I'm coming up to you and you don't want none of this. Trust me. One, two, three, five. These guns ain't gonna be banned. Well, she's my big bad girlfriend. I'm not throwing the makers at us. Charles will be here next week. Hot dog flavor for Rick. Rick? She was in a jail town yesterday. Hot dog flavor what? Hey, Scotty, was she a club fan for a while? She, so, uh, the she wrote the book on the biggest loser, man. Don't get nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Al, thank you. He brought us some water. She said, all you bought was just water. He brought us water, I wanted to pee in. See, that's just like Scotty Wood. He built a highway that's got a sinking feeling right now, and then he named it after a sex number, 69. <laughs> Man, that's just like it. <laughs> it's got a sinking mug, yeah. You ain't heard the least of it. Oh. There's a corruption going on. Y'all, you've been ready to do some stuff. Well, what are you talking about? You've heard the last time. 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 Hey, can I make this introduction? No! And the star, let me bring it to you, the star of Love Shack, the creator, Mr. Anderson Cooper. What you do? Are you doing your white hair and everything? Did admit that you swing both ways and do you be Anderson Cooper? <laughs> Hey, we having a good time? Yeah! Yeah! Love Shack's second anniversary special. Thank you very much for being here. Also, we want to thank Scott. Well, thank Greg's Pizzeria. Yeah! Road. It is awesome. Thank you very much. March the first. Reckless Revenge, new focus, new focus round for this. Reckless Revenge. Metro Sports Center, March 1st, New Folks Wrestling presents Breakfast Revenge. We've got a great card lined up. you got Johnny Richards and his group going against the Coalition and their group. Uh, SOL, Johnny Richards, SOL, Kirk Patrick, Rough Rider Roy, going up against Victor Bruiser Lewis, Daniel Weeds, Chad Stallings, Dyer Flynn, and Kurt Colt Sebastian Eros. There you go. 
We got a, we got a three way tie, no limits title with Lady Kid, Betty Bray, and Paradise. We got Chloe going up against Stephanie in the women's match. We got Flash winning and taking on JP Lightning, and we got T Bolt going to be there. Yeah, see, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Friday night, Metro Sports Center, Big Day 20, Metro Drive here in Evansville, Indiana. Bell time is 7 30 p.m. It's on a Friday night, March the 1st. Also, We've got the 2012 Wrestler of the Year. Uh, and have got definition to vote on. Here's how you vote. You don't vote for your favorite wrestler. You vote for who you think deserves it, which is the one who's had many titles, won the titles, defend the titles, one who plays the stiffest competition. One match. One match. Hey, quit doing something. And also one who's had a lot of winning streaks also, a lot of victories. And right now we're down to 10 individuals. 2011 Wrestle of the Year, Tebo, was the defeat defending his, his Wrestle of the Year title. Pippus, who is one half the NFW Tag Team Champions. Nadine Kidd, Hardcore Cowboy Scotty Love. Yeah! Bobo Brazil, Jr., Vic Bruce Lewis, Flash Flanagan, Dyron Flynn, Rob Conway, and NFW Champion Johnny Richards. <laughs> also, we've got a lot of great merchandise coming in. Johnny Richards will have his new t-shirts out there. It'll be great. And as you can see now, the new NFW Nation t-shirts will be out there for sale. And don't forget your Love Shack bottle water, NFW bottle water, Canadian Kid bottle water will be also for sale also. And not only will we, we, we will award the 2012 Wrestler of the Year with the new Focus Wrestling 2012 Wrestler of the Year trophy. Winner will get that also. Yeah! Again, I want to thank you. I mean, a lot of shares, a lot of watches on the Love Shack. I mean, it's been fun. Oh, it's been very fun with Charlie Richards there. It's always interesting. Charming Charles. I mean, last year, like I said, we had great great ones. We had Charles take away my, my uh, merchandise, give it to some homeless man in Garbage Park. Poor Reggie lost his car. Oh, Johnny became, Master Rich became Johnny Richards, the product of the people, became what the people created. That's right. It's been interesting. And, uh, I'll tell you what, here's some of the matches. What we're going to do, we're going to have some people come up also that's going to be in the matches and give their, their uh, thoughts on what they're going to do. Play those stuff. I'll tell you what. Canadian Kid, Paradise, and Benny Bray will be going up. We'll be in a three way match for the No Limits title. So if Benny Bray and Canadian Kid will come up for a second. Go, Anthony. <laughs> also, I want everybody to know, on behalf of Mom Rich, she said there will be no physical confrontation. If there is, he will be suspended indefinitely, fined five thousand dollars, and be out of the rumble. Oh, that. Need that there, I think. This? Yeah, that. Thank you. I'm going to do. There you go. You come up. Get, get up. Uh, Give your thoughts on the match. I have Benny come over. Give his thoughts on the match. Yeah. Give your picture taken with me together. So, the three way title for the No Limits title. Then get, get up and uh, give your thoughts on the match. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. First off, you know, I don't know you. You hear you. Thank you all for coming. The microphone. Yes, I know that. I don't I don't know him, I don't know who Paradise is. All I know is I've held a title before. You know, I've had a lot of good runs. I've been I've wrestled Scotty everywhere, I've wrestled T Bolt unfortunately. And you know, it's about time I can put something where I need to be. The no limits title will come back to me and it will stay where it belongs. Yeah! Alright, Benny. It's up to you, sir. A little short for me. <laughs> well, I can understand. You said you don't know who I am. I don't know who you are either. But I can tell you who I am. You know the guy 
that trained a few superstars called John Cena, hey, Randy Orton, you can get me. Batista, j just to name a few. I was trained by that guy. And I've only been in wrestling for five years, but... But there's a few matches in your life, and this is one of them. This is one of the matches. He's gonna win. Exactly. You're correct. He's gonna win. He is? No, yeah. There's no way he's gonna beat me. There's zero chance he's gonna beat me. He's never wrestled anyone like me before. Do you understand that? I could list names all day. But when you he's still gonna beat you! I forgot how much ignorance was in this town. I totally forgot. And then you people come here to remind me. Have I seen his moves? Oh, oh, he's got cooler moves than me. He has cooler moves. That means he's better than me, right? That means he's better than me. I'll make him tap out. Okay, now uh, we got another participant here, and it's going to be in the uh, Rumble. You heard him sing while, or sing or play for a while ago. So, T-Boat, if you're here, you can put the piece down just for one minute. <laughs> Well, I guess it won't be a rumble, because I'm the number one contender anyway. Been the number one contender. The guy who's got the, got the belt right now keeps ducking and, the, and cheating. And wrestler of the year. Oh, that was last year. Nah, I didn't get one of those. That was last year, you know. I, you know, this might be, I hate to break this news to everybody, but Everybody I wrestled this year, this might be their last time wrestling. They they might retire this year. <laughs> That's all I got to tell you. Yeah, like you. Everybody that I wrestled this year might be their last time wrestling. Uh, look, look, I have all the respect for people who walks around with a, a pierced lip. <laughs> so, you know, he... He, he can have his last drink and the hoorah and all this, you know. And every day goes. Keep running from who? I don't have to run from Bobo, but both us so old, we don't run. <laughs> I, I have better chance of running from Scotty Wolf. No, you don't. This must have been the same chord that uh, Chairman Charles was using in his guitar. <laughs> And that uh, Scotty Wolf was building I-69 with. Both of them came up short. <laughs> hey, Timo, you're running from the people. So I just want to let everybody know, Love Shack, Brother Al, Charming Charles, it's been real, it's going to be real, real. And this year, Love Shack is going to be a little bit different, so you better be careful when you call me to do a Love Shack show. That's all I got to say. Just have pizza. <laughs> hey, sure hey, just don't call me when I'm fishing again, man. They call me every time I'm fishing, which is every day. So. <laughs> oh, and another thing, look back. Hey, I got to admit, I got to say this. You know, it's going to be a new year, but I got to get this out of my system now. 
and what I got left of a heart. Billy and Mike and the crew who actually doesn't get any kind of recognition behind the scenes that helps us set this thing up. We need to give them a hand. I mean, you know. Billy anyway, Mike, well, we're going to look for you, you know. Yeah. But I appreciate you guys. Just make sure you're there on time to unload the damn ring this week, okay? Thank you. All right. Brother Al, but come on back up, Anderson Cooper. Yeah. There you go, Anderson. Here you go. He's ready to finish that pizza. Don't make it easy. Don't do my friend. Thank you. Al, he's fishing. No, I didn't touch yourself up, did you? Round for the pizza! Can you hear me? Al? No. Hey, Al, hey, team, all way. Huh? Al, that's it, Al. What? We're done. We're done. Do you want to do it? Okay, now, there's also a couple more matches we're going to talk about. Also, the former WWE, WCW, ECW is Raven. And Madman Pondo were team up going up against uh, former WWE's Domino Cliff Thompson and Gator McAllister. That is going to be one heck of a match right there that you don't want to miss. You want to see Raven? Come on out. Now, the match a lot of people are talking about. The 10 man tag match. SOL, Anthony Blaze, Hardcore Cowboy Scotty Wolf, Johnny Richards, NFW Heavyweight Champion, Kurt Patrick. And Rough Rider Roy are going to be taking on Victor Bruiser Lewis, Sebastian Harris, Dyron Flynn, Chas Dollings, and Daniel Eads. Now, there's something that everybody's been talking about. SOL, they're, they're about the toughest tag team that's ever been around in, a, in New Focus Wrestling. And Johnny Richards, who's the, one of the most controversial wrestlers in New Focus Wrestling. Are going to be on the same team they're wondering, can they coincide? Can can they can they work together? So I'll tell you what, we're gonna call uh, Scotty Wolf up here and NFW champion Johnny Richards up here and uh, talk about their match and uh, how they can work together. Considering the fact that, uh, as far as the Love Shack goes, wait, wait, I've been wait, one. Wait, no, no, wait, let me wait, let me wait, finish. Wait, wait, wait. Gave me a live microphone. Don't this is laugh. a live microphone. They gave me a live microphone. That's bad. Yeah, that's, that's, that's bad. But I want to get something off my chest. Wait. Considering the fact that the entire coalition's been on the Love Shack, babbled their BS, put themselves in a position where they pretty much dug themselves in a ditch. I'm just going to put, put the dirt on them. I haven't had a chance to really express my thoughts on what's going to happen. And the teammates that got chosen for me, and I have no doubt, I have no doubt in my mind that I can put the boots to the coalition. Yeah. I've got no doubt that we cannot just beat the snot out of them. But the choices that you've made as far as some of our teammates in Kurt Patrick and Rough Rider Roy, I've already, I've, I've already proven that Rough Rider Roy can't handle it with the SOL. We've proven that once before. That's true. Kurt Patrick, Kurt Patrick. I mean, little Shawn Michaels. <laughs> are, are you sure this is where you want to go with this? You really don't need partners. I mean, you, me, and then Anthony can handle it. Yes, I, you, you know. But you know, since since Wesley was already booked at the gay porn convention. And you know, Wayne, he is undefeated, but he has to work that night too. So. It kind of, kind of limited me down to who, who we could have. You know, plus, you know, Kurt totally confuses people with the whole Shawn Michaels thing. I think it's really Shawn. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, guess, I guess it's better than Xbox. I mean, a lot, lot better. I mean, we could have Tebow. You know, but it, it would take 45 minutes to get to the ring. I don't, I don't think Tebow could do. I don't think, I think Tebow would be the one doing the sweet shin music, not the sweet chin music. He doesn't raise his feet to get in the ring. You know that, right? He just kind of rolls around. He wrestles like a lot like, like he sings in National Anthem. I'm only talking about the three. I like y'all sex like 29 seconds of foreplay. You know that? 29 seconds? I've never suffered from premature ejaculation. He picked up his 
Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Are they ready? What I'm going to say? Go for it, man. Go for it. I, I think I've done On a live it. microphone. Oh, God. Live. Oh, God. Uh -oh. Come here, Where I can say anything, right, Al? No. <laughs> How censored do I have to be on here? Do, do we have a blank button? She's heard a lot. Okay. Well, this, this is what we could do, Scott. I could come up here and I could, you know, since Scott is my cousin over there. I could so tell you, you know, like, tell some really cool stories about him, but I won't because he'd kick me out. <laughs> or I could do, like, some, some really cool stories about Big Al back in the day, but you'd probably get divorced. <laughs> Especially when we find out about the pink outfit and the big gay Al and, well, the Anderson out. Cooper gimmick, there's not too far away from the difference of that gimmick. I auctioned that off. Or there could be the story about Mini Viscera. What? Little Danielle. Ooh, Little Danielle. That brings back memories. But I won't say nothing about that. The fact of the matter is this, Nick Iggy at one time or another actually had faith in the kid. He's, he's decent. Dyer and Flame looks like a rejected Daniel Bryan. The whole beard. Everything. Chad Stallings, his biggest... Oh, darn, 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 darn. I just, I just want to eat a bowl of Lucky Charms. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is about that. He does kind of like a, like a leprechaun, don't he? You know, Hornswoggle retires, maybe he'll have a job. Yeah, maybe, maybe. You know, like, and, uh, uh, who's Chad Stallings is on there, right? Uh, uh, the, uh, Lincoln Mosley's Shadow. Yeah, but right. The guy. Who, I thought he was doing a bag caddy. He does like bags. I bet he does. He bags. A lot of bags. That's what I hear. <laughs> That's what I hear. And, and Don or Dan Daniel Dan, Eads. Dan, Dan, Daniel, Daniel, I do not use enhancement Eads. <laughs> Yeah, That's yeah, about that. And Vic the Bruiser. In all actuality, the only person on that team that has any talent or has a chance is Vic. Oh, we, we forgot we forgot about uh, um, Sebastian. Sebastian, the cross-dresser. Yes, the cross-dresser. The cross-dresser. <laughs> you remember the cross-dresser, Al? Do you know you took him home? Oh. <laughs> Penny, it's okay. It was before he met you. I swear. Oh, wait, that was last week, right? Oh, it was. Never mind. Al, just forget, just forget I said anything. In all actuality, the coalition, they're going to war with five guys. You really don't care what we have to do to get done. For the first time ever, Johnny Richards and Scotty Wolf team up. The Sons of Sin. And for any ones that don't know who the Sin is, it, Chris Champion, he's the one that put us, put us in the position we're in. Anthony Blaze, he got trained by him too, so you know three of the most we learned from one of the most deadliest men in the in the wrestling business, so you can only imagine what we could do the three of us together. Right. Straight up basically. Yeah. You know, if we I think we're on agreement. I don't know about the other two, but I know we're on agreement where if it ends us ending them this Friday night, then so be it. <laughs> by any means I, necessary. I don't want to end it. See, I'm, I'm, oh no! I'm, I, I I got intentions. I, I don't want I, I don't want anybody to get seriously hurt yet. I'm gonna milk this out. I can milk this a couple months, break them down slightly. I mean, look, Nick Iggy, he already got hurt. Or no, never mind. I think that was a sex change. That's what happened. Oh, that's, that's the only way he got out of the match. So yeah, he's down to Nicole Iggy. Yeah. Yeah, Nicole Iggy. Yeah. You gotta get it done before June, boy. <laughs> We can get it done. Okay. <laughs> you want to I'm gonna leave this to you. No, no, no. no I, I'm not. Just see the wheels turning. Ron. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I mean, it's scary. It's scary enough that Wesley's dad went home in Eddie, but he went home with Chad. <laughs> Scotty wins this one. I know. Okay, now we're going to go over the card real quick and we're going to have Charles up here. You going to do some more? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do more. Okay. Again. What, sir? That's just page one. I have to have pictures, so I don't know what to say. Okay. Yes, you can. Also, okay. Also, we got coming out Bobo Brazil Jr., the Flash Brothers. Rowdy Red, what's he called? Ooh. Porky Pig. Porky Pig. Tempest, Johnny Whiplash, and more. 
the Rumble match to crown the number one contender for the NFW World title. The No Limits title with Canadian Kid versus Benny Bray versus Paradise. Brandon Espinosa, Ace Hawkins versus Matt and Chase King. The Flash Brothers going up against uh, Flash Brothers. Flash Flanagan going up against JP Lightning. Uh, he would, wouldn't he? Epiphany versus Chloe, which is going to be a great match. And again, a 10 man tag match Johnny Richard, Jess Owell, Kirk Patrick, Chris Ryder Roy. Went up against Vic the Bruiser, Sebastian Harris, Dyron Flynn, Chad Stalling. So who versus. Um, yeah, he made me break my. Oh, okay, never mind. Chad Stallings and Daniel Eads. What? Then we got the Ravens Rule match. Raven and Madman Pondo going up against Domino Cliff Compton and Gator McAllister. That all happens March the 1st. 1520 Metro Drive yeah. Central Sports Center with new Focus Wrestling presents Reckless Revenge. And this Friday, the 2012 Wrestler of the Year will be presented for you to vote on. It's going to be great. Well, what, maybe one of them, one of them, definitely. But again, like I said, March 1st, we're going to thank you all for being here. We're going to have Charles come out here, finish eating up, pizza, have a good time, talk to the superstars, get pictures, whatever you want. Again, we got about $10. $10 if you want a picture of Johnny Richards. But again, we want to thank you for being here on the Love Shack second anniversary here at Rick's Pizza Ria. Again, thanks to Drake for letting us be here. Awesome place, awesome pizza. It's great. We're going to have some fun. March 1st, then we're going to get down to some business. Y'all enjoy. Is that recording? Is that recording? Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. Your marbles, buddy, don't throw down. Hey, Milk, if it takes you long to get up here, it takes you get to the ring, you're already lost. Hey, I always got to stop and say hi to you, and then, you know, that takes a while for you to hear it. You know? <laughs> Hey. Now, hey, that's a pretty good deal when Johnny Richards said uh, ten dollar picture with him. It's cheaper than an exterminator. You put that at your front door, you ain't got to worry about solicitors coming to the day, to the house. Yeah, yeah Joe, we listen to everybody. <laughs> Hold it, Joe. Alan, come on up here, buddy. Oh, turn it on.